California's droughts. Uh, continues. A stunning new report now shows just how damaging it is across the West. 2016 is expected to be a tough year for farmers, retailers and consumers. With South Africa's farmers are waiting for the rainy season as a drought leaves them reeling. So even when the rains come, it will be difficult to go back to the same standard, to the same volume of food. This is historic. You have to go back perhaps centuries, centuries to find a drought of this kind of magnitude. Many commercial farmers have criticized the government's slow response in helping out. We're discussing the world food crisis. But the ever-changing weather patterns brought by climate change could still affect the country's food security. In southern Africa, for, uh, for example, there is uh, an estimate that says yields will be reduced by 50%. What does this mean for food security? Hi, my name is Gareth and I'm the founder of bean to bloom the future of farming The current problem that we're facing with the agriculture industry in the world is the fact that we cannot sustainably feed the, the current population. Food and water are our biggest needs and we are rapidly running out of both, with the production of food being highly detrimental to our water resources. In fact, the current agricultural system results in biodiversity destruction, natural habitat encroachment, deforestation and desertification through erosion. The whole area of climate smart agriculture is an emerging field and I think that's where the future lies in many respects. We can actually grow food hydroponically and aeroponically and with drip irrigation indoors and save a lot of land outside. We have these tools, they're available for us. My vision for Bean to Bloom is to create an integrated, sustainable indoor urban farming system in order to combat food scarcity and water related issues around agro-processing. Through the use of aquaponics, we'll not only be able to produce fresh produce, but also introduce a protein into the mix. The idea behind Bean to Bloom includes incubation farming hubs forming the center of urban communities, creating a value chain of healthy nutritional food products that can sustain communities, create employment and encourage small business development. For every indoor acre of farm that you create, you can actually save 10 to 20 outdoor acres of land that you could then allow to go back to the way it was before we farmed it. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Because Bean to Bloom is an indoor system, it means that we are in control of the climate, which means that we are no longer subject to the outside weather conditions. This will give us the ability to grow year-round. Because Bean to Bloom is a closed-loop cycle, it means that we will use up to 90% less water than traditional agriculture. This will allow us to grow food all day, every day, protect crops from unpredictable and harmful weather events, reuse water collected from the indoor environment, eliminate the need for pesticides, fertilizers and herbicides, reduce the dependence on fossil fuels, prevent crop loss due to shipping or storage, stop agricultural runoff, and ultimately restore land that would have traditionally been used for agriculture into its natural pristine ecology. The main the problem is, is producing more food on the same amount of land or even less land with things like uh, uh, soil erosion happening. And this is a serious problem with uh, increasing population and the fact that a lot of yields of crops have, have stagnated. So land availability is a premium. So one simple way of producing more food on the same amount of land is to go upwards and this, this creates uh, problems, but it also creates opportunities. Sustainable urban agriculture is certainly not a new concept, but it is a revolution that's gaining traction around the world. Bean to Bloom would like to be the leaders in this revolution in Southern Africa, and we would like the Shuttleworth Foundation to partner with us in this revolution.